all know that Steve does not control the weather, but I've seen him smiling a whole lot more now that it's close to 30 than it was earlier in the week when it was zero. Yeah. Right, Steve? Yeah, you know why that is? Because I control the graphics. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Yeah, that's it. And there's a good sign from what I have graphics wise about what's going on over the next couple of days. It starts with the weather watchers. They always check in first to give us a sense of what's going on around the area. And yesterday I had a lot of single digits and barely 10 degrees in the day. Nothing like that. Let's start here. 25 degrees. That's where Larry is in Cedar Lake. Nice, partly cloudy sky up. You know it's been cold when 30 degrees feels nice. I, I know how you feel, Larry. It's kind of hard describing uh, the weather today, but it makes a big difference. I know these temperatures don't look all that warm. Here's Patrice. Patrice always checks in from the West Loop. And her message today, it's almost, not quite, but almost feels warm outside. It's a pretty picture. Now you can go outside and sort of appreciate the sunset because it was giving us a break tomorrow, even better with temperatures in the mid-30s around the area. So that's the weather story from one end of the area to the other. I always like to see what Ken has got a lot of promise in his wardrobe. Look at that shirt sleeves now. That's really looking ahead. But 24 in Plainfield now, nice sunny day looking toward start of winter. And speaking of the start of winter, that's what I'll start with. The winter solstice is tomorrow. Where are you going to be at 444 AM? I'll make sure to call you. I won't be up, I don't think. Uh, but I'll, in my heart, I'll be there. Uh, December 21st tomorrow, the first day by calendar of winter. But we know that, you know, winter's been here. And our story has been when is it going to warm up and not feel so winter-like around here. And when are we going to get some snow? I'll tell you about that in a minute. Above freezing weather starts tomorrow. Feels better today, like Larry had mentioned. But it'll feel better when we hit 32 or higher temperature. Now, as we transition into the warmer weather, might be some flurries in the afternoon tomorrow. There's a front coming in this direction. And that might trigger just a little bit of snow. But much relief later this week because the cold air is going that way and the mild air is coming our way with the help of south winds. We've already started that. So mild conditions east of the Mississippi and anybody who's got to travel in that direction for the holidays eastward is going to find uh, really nice temperatures. 35 in Tinley Park, 35 in Joliet. That's tomorrow. Wind chills not as cold. Got an eye on a storm. Christmas morning, we could have a light mix of snow and rain. It's a storm that's approaching. Instead of coming right toward us, it's going to take all the cold air and the snow up north. That mild air I mentioned, mild enough to give us all rain around here, unfortunately. More like a wet Christmas than white. Light snow mix overnight on Christmas Eve and a bit of snow in the morning on Christmas, but uh, mainly a rain uh, event that day, and the temperature could be near 50 in spots on Christmas afternoon. So tonight, uh, getting there, but not quite there. 19 for the overnight low, a big improvement in the 30s from Wednesday straight through the end of the week in, in nice weather. Weather. Watching that storm again for Christmas Eve night and a rainy Sunday. But look at that, Rob, all the way from 13 below yesterday morning to look at this. The end of the weekend, temperatures near 50 around the area for Christmas. Yeah, after that February blast in the last few days, boy, we need some of these temperatures. Very much so. All right, thanks, Steve. We appreciate it.